Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to talk about the second theorem for conditional probability. This is a little bit more of a general theorem than the one we saw in the previous video. Here we have an event A. And if that event A must result in one of the mutually exclusive events, A1, A2, A3, A4, all the way up to AN, so one of those events will be the result of A occurring, then we can say that the probability of A occurring is equal to the probability of A1 occurring times the probability that A will occur provided that A1 has occurred plus the probability that A2 occurs times the probability that A will occur provided A2 has occurred and so on and so forth all the way to the very end where the probability of the last event AN will occur times the probability that A will occur provided that A sub N has occurred. That's kind of a complicated mess in a way, it, it is, it's pretty complicated, but let's write that in a very different way. We can see that this is simply the sum of a bunch of terms. With other words, we can then say that the probability that A has occurred is equal to the sum from I equals, or yeah, we can say I, from I equals 1 to I equals N of the probability of A sub I times the probability of A provided that A sub I has occurred. So you can see that we simply sum these up one at a time and it's simply we add the sum together and that is equal to the probability that A has occurred provided that event A must result in one of the following to occur. So that's an important aspect of what we eventually will see as Bayes' theorem. So the ultimate goal here is to go ahead and see how Bayes' theorem can be utilized. And so in order to, for us to understand that, we have to understand these concepts right here, or at least understand the equation of the concepts. So if, let's say, you, you toss a, a coin, and it can either be heads or tails, that would be an event A. And then after you if you toss a heads, you'll do one thing. If you toss tails, you do another thing. Then this is really what this is about. So in this case, if, you, if A is one thing, something else will occur. That means that will then result in some mutually exclusive event. For example, grabbing marbles out of a bag, for example, which then will result of either grabbing a red one or a blue one or a white one or something like that. And so what's the probability of grabbing a red one or grabbing a blue one or grabbing a green one, whatever is in the bag? Well, we can then reverse that process and say, if we go in the bag and we grab, for example, a green one, what is then the probability that we toss either heads or tails? That's kind of in reverse. And so that's what this conditional probability theorem is all about. It's, it's all about finding what may happen if something else has happened before. And so now that we have an understanding kind of, of what that equation means, now we're going to put that together and try to explain how Bayes' theorem works, because that's ultimately how we can product how we can predict something that must have happened if something else happened before. So stay tuned if you're still interested in this and we'll show you a systematic approach of how to explain Bayes' theorem.